we are going to add, uh, we are going to start our process. We will first put our milk on fire. It's 2 liters of milk. Then in our milk we will add 250 grams of sugar. To 50 grams of sugar we add in our milk then we will add vanilla essence this is plain vanilla essence and we will add uh, 20 ml of this vanilla essence then we'll stir our milk so that the sugar and the vanilla essence can combine completely in the milk uh, the reason is to why we are adding uh, some 20 ml of vanilla essence it's because vanilla is used to make the canvas base of an ice cream then you can get to add your flavors along the way. In our recipe today for ice cream, it will give it will give us approximately six liters of uh, ice cream. When ready, we'll get about six liters of ice cream. Keep stirring your milk so that all the sugar can dissolve in the milk. Once you're sure that your sugar has dissolved, you can now let your milk boil. Meanwhile, you can be preparing the ingredients for our next step. In our next step, we'll be needing cornstarch and uh, the skimmed milk skimmed milk we are going to use uh, 90 grams of skimmed milk and we are going to use six tablesp tablespoons of uh, cornstarch and then we will add in our milk mixture when it nears it gets when it's almost to the boiling point that is when we add our cornstarch and our milk powder we we'll also need some little milk we'll get some little mix so that we can mix our cornstarch with milk so that it can easily blend in our milk so we'll get very little milk that will be enough as this keep boiling we can now mix our cornstarch as i said we'll need six six tablespoons of uh, cornstarch one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll also need our milk powder or skimmed milk. We'll need 90 gram of skimmed milk. We combine that with our cornstarch. And then we'll add some milk so that we can combine it nicely. Stir it nicely. Make sure there are no lumps left so that when we add it in our mixture, it will be easy to mix it completely. We don't want lumps in our ice cream base.
check in on your milk so that it does not overflow. We are almost there. When it's about to boil, that is when we'll add our mixture of cornstarch and uh, skimmed milk. Uh, so when you're making your ice cream, you don't necessarily have to use a uh, meko, you can use uh, charcoal, you can use firewood, you can use stove, depending on what you have, you're not limited to using a gas cooker or a meko, you can use the source of fire that is readily available. For firewood, and you have to make sure that it's very... It's not as smoky, so because milk can easily get uh, the smoky smell, and your your, uh, your ice cream will end up having some funny smell. So make sure you, if you're using firewood, make sure it's clean firewood that will not have too much smoke.